how to respond to an opioid overdose and administer intranasal naloxone. Naloxone should be administered to a person experiencing a known or suspected opioid overdose as an additional support until an ambulance arrives. Please follow the recommended PPE guidelines at this time. The signs and symptoms of an opioid overdose are any combination of shallow or no breathing, snoring or rasping sounds, a bluish tinge to the lips and nails in white skin, or a greyish tinge in black skin, no response to noise or touch, small or pinpoint pupils, pale and clammy skin. If you see any of these signs, call for someone nearby to help you, call 999 or 112 for an ambulance, providing your air code if possible, and ask someone to fetch an AED and naloxone. Before you approach the person, make the area safe by moving anything that may harm you. Check for response to sound and touch. If there's no response, open their airway by gently tilting their head back and lowering their chin. Check to see if they are breathing for no longer than 10 seconds. Can you see or feel their chest rising? If the person is breathing, move them onto the floor, administer naloxone and put them into the recovery position. Each box contains two individually packaged nasal sprays. Each spray contains one dose of naloxone. Do not test the spray before use as it will spray and cannot be reused. Administer the first dose while the person is on their back. Tilt their head back. Hold the spray with your thumb on the bottom and your fingers either side of the nozzle. Gently insert into the nostril. Press the plunger until it clicks to give the dose. Remove from the nostril. Put their nearest arm in a high five position. Put the back of their hand to their cheek and hold it there. Bend their far knee up and tuck their foot under their other leg. Pull the knee to roll them over. Tilt their head back and lift their chin to open the airway and straighten their leg. Repeat a cycle of monitoring the person for two to three minutes to make sure they are still breathing. Administering further doses of naloxone while the person is in the recovery position until the person is responsive or the ambulance arrives. If the person stops breathing normally, start chest compressions. If the person is not breathing normally, move them onto the floor. You need a flat, hard surface to start chest compressions. Chest compressions will do the work of the heart by ensuring blood continues to be pumped around the body. Place the heel of your hand on the centre of their chest. Interlock your fingers. With your arms straight, press down on the centre of the breastbone, five to six centimetres. Repeat this 30 times. Give two rescue breaths if you are comfortable doing so. Then administer naloxone. Repeat a cycle of administering three cycles of 30 chest compressions and two rescue breaths, or alternatively, 100 chest compressions if you are uncomfortable giving breaths. Then a further dose of naloxone until the person is responsive or the ambulance arrives. Remember, check the area and make it safe for you. Call for someone to help you. Check for observable signs of overdose. Call 999 or 112. If they are breathing, put them into the recovery position, and if not, start chest compressions, administer naloxone, and wait with them until the ambulance arrives. Recognising an opioid overdose and administering naloxone can save lives.